Done. Yes, children. We are given three parallel O Q. So let us see in the figure what is the conclusion if D E is parallel to O Q. D E O Q. Let us first of all trace the triangle. O Q are the end points proceeding in the direction of D E. O Q are the end points proceeding in the direction of D E, and then reaching P. Which is the triangle being formed? P O Q. P O Q. Main triangle P O Q. As D E is parallel to O Q, so therefore by D P Q, what do we get? D E. Therefore, on the screen is not fully visible. Okay, sorry. Fine. Yes. Therefore, yes. by B P Q, what do we get? P E upon P Q equal to P D upon D O. Is equal to P D by D O. D O. That is the first conclusion, right? Let us see the second thing. The second thing is D F parallel O R. I am highlighting this. D F parallel O R. This is also parallel, right? Now, when D F is parallel to O R, which triangle will be made? P O R. P O R. P O R. P O R. O R. So you will proceed and you will reach at P. So which triangle yes, will be formed? Triangle P O R. P O R. And in triangle P O R, what shall we get? कंक्लूजन डीओ Sorry, P E upon E Q is coming out to be equal to P F upon F R. P F upon F R. F R. Which triangle is being formed now? E Q R. E Q R. I'm again repeating, but a P E upon E Q. Can you tell me the point of division? E F. E F. E E. Here it is E. E is equal to P F upon F R. What is the point of division here? F. 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 Now, in, in triangle PQR, two sides are in proportion. So, by converse of DPT, ES is parallel to QR. ES is parallel to QR. Are you clear, beta? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma so, whatever was given, we use that. Using that, applying BPT, we are reaching to the conclusion that two sides are in proportion. So from one and two, PE upon PQ is equal PF upon FR. Right. Therefore, please do mention the triangle. In triangle PQR, by converse of BPT. By converse of BPT, what do we get? EF is parallel to QR. Clear, brother? Yes, ma'am. 